au shakiran billah au sharikan ma'dhira sharikan billah or he ascribe a partner with Allah whether he is a kafir or he is a mushrik mal farq what's the difference between a kafir and a mushrik is there a difference is there a difference yes or no first no yes no oh, i heard two different statement i heard a yes and i heard a no and when I hear things like this, I'm happy because I'm giving it a little time, a little break. Yes. Yeah, Adam said yes. I heard a no from here, <laughs> from the no New York side. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't him. That's his brother then. Uh oh. Huh? No, he recanted. <laughs> now I'm yes. Hayakallah. What's the difference, Abdul Rahman? Hayakallah. May Allah preserve you and give you good. Naam. Fadal. Hawil. Okay. Good. You, alhamdulillah. It, it, that's very good, right? But we, we're going to pass that level of translating. You understand? We pass the level of translating. The translation, we, we all graduated from the alhamdulillah. Let, let's, let's go to the second grade, inshallah. Right? Let's go to the second grade. Which is what? Which is detail those matter in a very scholastic way. Okay? You ready? Fadal Abu Sufyan. Ahsanta, that's a good start. That every mushrik is a kafir. But not every kafir is a mushrik. That's a good start. But it's still not answering our question. So it's a, it was a good add, or it was a good addition, I would say, right? But that doesn't, alhamdulillah, very good. Mumtaz, jiddan, jayid, jiddan. Naam, Adam. A mushrik, believe in Allah and worship Allah. But he worships something else besides Allah. Santa, very good. A mushrik is someone that worships Allah. But at the same time, at the same token, he worship other than Allah. So that is clear, right? A mad kafir is someone that worship other than Allah. He's not worshiping Allah at all. He's worshiping something else other than Allah. For instance, you have the Christians. They worship Allah and they worship Isa. Right? They worship Allah, they worship Isa. At times they will say, thank you, God, meaning the creator. So sometimes they say what? Thank, thank you, you Jesus. Jesus. Right? So, but I'm not the one, the one that say, well, billah, he only worship Buddha. He only worship Buddha. He doesn't worship Allah at all. Hada yusammash? Kafir. If he combine now Allah and something else in his in his worship, then this is what? This is mushrik. So that's why I would say Kullu Mushrikin Kafir Kullu Kafirin Mushrik. Every polytheist is a disbeliever. But not every disbeliever is a polytheist. Clear. Next time, inshallah, I ask about this. I want every hands to be, to get in, inshallah, to be. So he mentioned, Hafizahullah, whether the person is a disbeliever or he's a polytheist. So we know the different, we know the thing, right? Even though uh, here it is, the definition might be different, but their ruling is the, is the same. They, have this, they share the same ruling. They will be both in the hellfire forever. It's just like you have a munafiq, a'adhan allahu min. May Allah safeguard us from that. Let's say you have hypocrisy and, and kufr. These are, in the definition, it is two different things. But in the ruling, they share the same thing. But we even say that the munafiqeen, they have the worst of the punishment. Because they will be in the, in the pit, in the bottom pit of the, of the hellfire. May Allah save us from nifaq and save us from the hellfire. Amen. So if he say, فَهَذَا لَهُ حُكُمُهُ That's the one that disbelieve in Allah. And as for the one that describe partner with Allah, he has his ruling. So yep, 
He said, Amma bi ma'asiya min al ma'asi. Ask for the person that he has sins. He has sins with him. He has sins. Fala nahkumu lahu bi jannati wala nar. We do not, we do not subject him to the ruling of the Jannah or the Hellfire. Meaning we do not say that he is in the Jannah nor he is in the Hellfire because of his sins. Right? He mentioned in in Amila Salihan Narjulahu al Jannah. If he do righteous action, we hope for him the Jannah. Wa in Amila Ma Yujibu an Nar Nakhafu alayhi. He said, if he do something, now it is a very statement, important statement right here, he said, in the wording for those who have the book with them. He said, well, in Amila, if he do an action, ma yujibu an-nar. Now this is a statement, but it is in it, the belief of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. He said, if he do an action, that is entitled Entitled with the punishment of the hellfire, right? Does it mean that he could be put in the hellfire? Does it mean that Allah can forgive him? So that's why he say, an action that is subjected to the punishment of the hellfire, an action that could be subjected to the punishment of the hellfire, we don't say he's in the hellfire. But rather at that point, Barakallah Fikum, we fear for him that he could be in the hellfire. He could be in the hellfire. Not he is in the hellfire. He say, Narju Lil Muti'i wa nakhafu ala al asi. And the general rule here in regard to the paradise or the hellfire for the people of the Qibla is this. We hope for the one that is obedient. And we fear, we fear for the one that is a, that is disobedient. For the one that is disobedient. Shah Rabi, he mentioned, وَلَا نَقْتَعْ لِأَحَدٍ بِجَنَّةٍ وَلَا نَارٍ We don't say, meaning with all certitude. We don't say like, with decisiveness, we don't say with being I mean, straight up that so and so is in the Jannah or so and so is in the Hellfire. I mean, nobody that is facing the Qibla to be said that for sure he is in the Jannah, for sure he is in the Hellfire. He say, لِأَنَّ هَذَا لَيْسَ إِلَّا لِلَّهِ because that is only for Allah Tabaraka wa Taala. That is only for Allah Tabaraka wa Taala. That is only for Allah Tabaraka wa Taala. He say, except illa kufran bawahan, except for an individual that has a crystal clear cut kufr that died upon that. Except a person that died upon a crystal clear cut kufr. Except a person that die upon a crystal clear cut kufr. For that, to, it is to say that he is in the hellfire. Because he died upon kufr. He say whether he is a Yahud or he is a Nasara. Right? Their kufr is what? It's clear. Is there any doubt about the disbelief of the Christians and the Yahud? No, their kufr, their kufr is clear. <laughs> so therefore, Barakallah fikum, he say, yuqalu fin nar. Yes, the Christians and the Jew, they will be in our fire. As we marra bina al-hadith, that we pass the hadith. When the Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, madha qala, man yadhkuruna al-hadith. Who remember that hadith? Aba Munira? About this, the Christians and the Yahud? Uh-huh. That there will be no Christian, no Jew. That he is about me. That he is about me. And do not believe in me. They believe in Al Islam. Do not believe in me. And they die upon that, except they will be in the hellfire. Clear. 
Now this is for everyone that hear about the Messenger alayhi salatu was salam and did not accept al-Islam. Alhamdulillah that Allah guided us to Islam. Alhamdulillah. We haven't done nothing. Nothing to be deserving al-Islam. But rather it is only by the favors of Allah. It's only by the favors of Allah. And we must be convinced about al-Islam. And that conviction, barakallah, it is more so for those who are born and raised upon Islam. Some of them, they take it as a tradition. Some of them, they, okay, you know, Mustafa, his name, I'm sorry. Their name is Abdullah or their name is whatever the case might be. Okay, father Muslim, mother Muslim, khalas. They're not convinced about the religion. They don't have no knowledge about the religion. But one must be, alhamdulillah, having what? Firmness in his belief. And that is only by way of what? Studying. It is not guaranteed. It's not given by way of, oh, you are born Muslim. Alhamdulillah. You understand the deed. You are not born Muslim. You don't know. And alhamdulillah. You look at most of our teachers, barakallahu feekum, in, in, the, in the West. Most of them were not Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Most of our teachers accepted Islam. Right? I'm talking about our teachers. Uh, not, I'm talking about the, the, the students and knowledge. That's what I'm saying. Right? Most of them, they were what? They were, alhamdulillah, they were not born upon Islam. They were, they were not Muslims. Tayyip? So that shows that, alhamdulillah, the, the, the father of Allah, tabaraka, yu'ti man yasha. Thalika fadlullah, yu'ti man yasha. Wallahu dhul fadlil azim. Allah gives him to whomsoever he will. Right? But one has to have what? To be diligent in, in going after and, and seeking the fadl of Allah. Man jadda wajada, whomsoever strive will find it. Whomever strive will find it. Right? One will not stay home and just uh, think that he will just be a millionaire overnight. Ain't happening. You got to go put forth some applications. You gotta, if you got to wear a suit and tie to go to the interview, let it be. Right? If you got to have a nice cut, haircut, line it up. I can't be lining them no more. Right? You, alhamdulillah, you, you do so. Because this is from the al-akhdu bil asbab. Taking the means. Oh, no, no. We ain't talking about the beard. We're talking about the hairline. We ain't talking about no, the beard. Is, listen, alhamdulillah. The believer has to know that what is for him is for him. Now ain't nobody going to take it. What is for you is for you. Nobody going to take it. What is for you? Akhil, believe this. It's for you. Nobody going to take it away from you. What is for you though? Nobody going to take it away from you. And this is something that alhamdulillah we have to cultivate in ourselves. It's nobody that's going to be between you and your bread. Nobody. Mustafa, he's on my case, man. <laughs> Tell him I was raised in Candler Road. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. The Shaykh Hafizahullah Tabaraka wa ta'ala, he mentioned, he say, but we are very straightforward in regard to declaring the kafir to be in the hellfire. That is, that is no debate about. This is no hesitation. No hesitation whatsoever. No hesitation to say that the person that died upon Christianity, he died upon Yehudiyah, he is in the hellfire. But this is when we say the one that died, not the one that is alive. You can't call this guy that just came out of the church, oh, you in the hellfire. Allah. Allah can guide him tomorrow. Allah can guide him right now. And he said, you know what? I got to go study. Alhamdulillah, go study 20, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, come back and be your teacher. Shahafidahullah tabaraka wa ta'ala, he mentioned, he said, as a disbeliever, yes, we say without no hesitation that he's in the hellfire. 